Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can make your own Android TV with the Raspberry Pi. Let's get started. So, before we get to the computer, I want to show you that yes, this is full Android TV. I just hit my desk and made everything vibrate. But yes, we have full access to Android. As you can see, we have, I have installed a few apps. We have live channels, we have TuneIn Radio and VLC. But we can even install more if I go to get more apps. We can see we have a, a wide variety of apps. We have Tubi, we have Peloton, whatever that is, and Design. You can install Paramount Plus, Twitch, anything. It's full blown Android. So now let's hop over to the computer to see how it's done. Alright, so first, go to the first link in the description and download Raspberry Pi Imager. And this is what we're going to use to flash the operating system onto the Raspberry Pi SE card. Now you could use Etcher if you know how to use that, but I'm going to use Raspberry Pi uh, Imager for this tutorial. Next, go to the second link in the description and download the Lineage OS 17.1 Android TV version. This is the Android uh, TV operating system that we're going to flash onto the SD card. You want to scroll down here, you want to click on this link, take the IMG file, I think it is, yeah it's the IMG, out of the zip and into like your downloads folder. Next you want to go to opengaps.org, the third link in the description, and want to tick on the platform 10.0 for the Android version and then for variant you want to select TV stock. This is what we're going to use for the Google Apps. So you want to download this and just drag and drop it onto a USB drive. Now make sure you drag and drop it onto the USB drive if you don't want to like flash it or anything. So next you want to open up Raspberry Pi Imager. It's going to ask you if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device if you're on Windows. You now click yes. And now we are brought here. So first you want to choose the OS. You want to scroll all the way down here and select use custom. Next you want to scroll all the way down here and take the IMG file that you got out of that zip and select it. For storage, you want to select your SD card. I don't have it plugged in uh, because I already flashed it onto there. But once you do that, make sure it's the correct drive. And then you want to click write. So as I said, I already have it on the I already have it on the SD card, so uh, now I'm going to hop over to the Raspberry Pi to, you know, set up the Android TV. Alright, I have the Pi here with the USB stick, with the SD card, no flash, everything's here. I just got to press the power button, so, alright, I've now clicked it. My, mouse, my keyboard has now turned on. I'm gonna turn on my mouse. And. It's still on for some reason. Well, let me check the HDMI inputs correct. Okay, I have to set the HDMI too. It should come on now. Alright, there you go. Should we should be. So we should be getting the boot screen. This is taking forever. Hmm. Okay, let me try to turn it off and back on again. Okay, I've now clicked the power button and we just got a bunch of Raspberry Pi stuff. And now we have the rainbow screen. There you go. There's the blue screen. Yay. Now we just gotta wait a bit. Also, just so you know, the camera is flipped. So it would actually be going to the other side. There you go. It says lineage. 
scan for accessories. Um, maybe you can just press F2 to skip it. Yep. And there you go. So, lineage. And I click next. Now we have the EULA. So, uh, you probably can't read this, but it says commercial use is not allowed on this build. Yeah, I'll maybe try to flip it in editing. Anyways, I'll accept it. Now, my language is yes, like English United States. And now, the date and time. So, I'm in Eastern Time, so I'm gonna select that. The date, right now, it is the 17th of August. So, I'm gonna select that. 17. And the current time is 5.02. No, 503, just change to 503. And it's PM. I'm gonna select OK. Now I'm gonna click Next. And that's gonna make me select my Wi Fi network. So I'm going to do that quickly. And it is connected. So that's gonna ask for location services. I'm gonna click next. Uh, sure, we can do that. I'm not gonna do this. I do not have a lineage OS phone, so I'm gonna click skip. And if I click my mouse once more, we should bring it out of sleep and we are now brought here. So this is a lineage OS. Now you're probably noticing something. This does not look like Android TV. Like look, if I can launch apps and we only have a file explorer. Now this is because this does not have Google Apps. So remember when we loaded up Google Apps onto the USB drive? Uh, like when I told you to copy over the zip file to the USB? Yeah, so we got to flash Google Apps onto it. To do that, we first gotta go to settings. Device preferences about, and then just go and scroll down here and keep clicking on build until it says you have enabled developer settings. Then you can press F2 to go back, go to developer settings, and enable advanced reboot. This will allow us to enter what I think is the recovery mode. So now when I press F2 to go back again, go to about, click restart, and then scroll up to recovery. So now we are going to boot into, I think it's like the recovery OS on here. So we got the rainbow screen. And there. So this is the recovery project. So first we've got to swipe to allow modification. So we're going to do that. We're going to go to mount, you're going to select system and boot, so we'll make sure boot system data and USB are all selected, leave out the vendor thing, we're going to select the storage, we're going to select the USB drive, make sure you have your USB drive plugged in, like the one that we have to zip on, make sure that's plugged in, click, uh, what was it, okay, we're going to click on the home button, next we're going to go to install, and then select the version for like select the Google Apps zip. Alright, I have two on here. This one was for Android 11 Nano. I made a mistake about that. So we're gonna select uh, open apps, ARM 10.0 TV stock 2021-0813. Select that and then uh, swipe to confirm flash. So now it is installing Google Apps. <laughs> Oh, 
Alright, uh, the installation was successful. Now before we can reboot, we first have to click on the home button, go to wipe, and this will wipe the data, cache, and dialfic. Uh, this will not include like users of lock screen and internal storage. It's not gonna like wipe lineage OS. This is just going to link the stuff that we've done in the the bootloader recovery OS, at least from my understanding. So we had a swamp to confirm factory reset. And that was really quick. So now we can click on reboot system. And now we should boot into Lineage OS. This time with some actual googly stuff. We've now just gotten the rainbow screen. And we are now back on Lineage OS. We're back on the boot screen. We just gotta wait for this to finish. There you go, lineage. So the screen should go black. And I was asking for the remote. We can easily skip this by pressing F2, I believe. There. So now we are at the welcome screen. And I select the language. I'm going to select English. I am not going to set this up with my Android phone, so I'm going to select skip. I now have to reconnect to Wi-Fi. Password. For some reason, it does not hide the password, but okay. I can totally skip this part in editing. You have now successfully connected to the internet. That's going to ask us to wait. And now it's going to ask us to log in with Google. So I'm going to sign in. Of course, they got that nice dark mode Google sign in, so I'm going to do that real quick. Oof, my mic almost fell. Oh, it did fall. I have now logged in my Google account, so you're now going to ask us, I'm going to ask us, so again, tell us to accept the terms of agreement, or terms of service, location, uh, okay, help improve Android, yes, and now this Raspberry Pi 4 is powered by Android TV, now we have a walkthrough with the features, we can get apps from Google Play, and we can even, we can even ask Chromecast build, since we can cast to the Raspberry Pi, I'm going to press enter, and we are now brought to a more familiar interface, if you've used Android TV before. So now we have full-blown Android TV, we even have YouTube built in, you gotta ask me to choose an account, I'm gonna do that. And now we have Android TV right here, we can even watch some YouTube, so maybe, I don't know. That gets off. Let's see. 
we can go to this big buck bunny thing. I don't have a speaker set up, so we won't be able to hear anything. Right now, it defaults to, as you can see, okay, it just jumps to 720p. I'm going to put it at 720p. That's for nerds up. And so far, it's only it's dropped 79 frames. Or 80. Still, it looks pretty good. So, that has been how to create your own infant TV with, a, with your Raspberry Pi. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content just like this one. And I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye.